Mike Carr here. We got a couple questions from our Facebook users on yesterday's presentation. First up was, the general question is, you said during the presentation, when it rains in New York, you should sell the stock market. Is there really any justification to that idea at all? And the truth is, yes, there is. It's been found in academic studies that shorting the market through futures in particular can deliver quite a gain if you're shorting when it rains in New York. Just think about it. People are in a bad mood when they go, when they go out in the rain. New York is filled with 8 million people trying to block your access in the rain. People fight their way to work. They're in a bad mood. Once they get there, all they want to do is go home. So selling is going to be the dominant theme in that kind of market because our mood does influence our trading. Now the next question was, I thought markets were rational. How can you explain this in a rational mindset? And this is grounded in behavioral economics. There's some great papers out there on behavioral economics. We all know that a loss hurts quite a bit. The truth is a loss hurts more than the pleasure of a gain. And in the academic literature, we find that a loss hurts about 2.25 times as much as a gain. Now, to visualize that, if any of you have a teenage daughter, think about your teenage daughter when she breaks up with the love of her life. The pain that she feels is at least 2.25 times greater than the pleasure she ever brings you any other day. So you can see that these numbers actually make some sense. The market is rational. There is a rational reason to sell when it rains in New York. So with that, I'm going to end this and just let you make money shorting the market when it rains in New York. That's all we have time for right now, but please keep sending in your Facebook questions. We'll answer them as we can, and hopefully you're enjoying the conference so far. Thank you.